In this video, we're going to work on some related rates problems associated with distance. Let's start with this one. A particle moves along the curve y equals x squared plus 2. The x coordinate increases at a rate of 4 centimeters per second. How fast is the distance between a point and the origin changing when x is 2? So let's start with a picture. Let's graph the function. So x squared is basically a parabola and it's been shifted up two units. So it looks like this. That's a generic shape. But let me draw it in red. Now let's say at this point x is equal to 1. Let's call that point P. And here is the origin. So we need to find out how fast the distance between the origin and point P is changing. So let's make a right triangle. So this is going to be x, y, and the distance between point P and the origin, let's call it z. So we need to determine how fast z is changing. So our goal in this problem is to calculate dz dt. Now let's make a list of what we know. So we know that x is equal to 1. We don't know the value of y, and we currently do not know the value of z. Now all of these are variables, x, y, and z change. None of them are fixed or constants. Now we have dx dt. That's the rate at which the x coordinate is changing. And that's 4 centimeters per second. We don't have dy dt, nor do we have dz dt. But dz dt is what we're looking for. And that's the goal of this problem. So let's put a question mark here. So how can we calculate dz dt? What do we need to do in this problem? Well, let's find out the missing pieces first. So let's start with y. How can we calculate y? Now we're given this equation. y is equal to x squared plus 2. And we have x. So let's replace x with 1. 1 squared is 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So y is equal to 3. Now, using that same equation, we can calculate dy dt. So let's differentiate this function with respect to time. The derivative of y is going to be 1 times dy dt. The derivative of x squared is going to be 2x times dx dt. And 2 is a constant. The derivative of a constant will be 0. So x is 1, dx dt is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So dy dt is 8. So now we need to calculate z and dz dt. So we have this right triangle that we can use. So based on the Pythagorean theorem, we know that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And the hypotenuse is z. So z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. First, let's use this formula to calculate z. So x is 1, y is 3. So 1 squared plus 3 squared, that's 1 plus 9 which is 10. So z squared is equal to 10. If z squared is 10, then all we need to do is take the square root of both sides to calculate z. So z is equal to the square root of 10. So now that we have z, we could determine dz dt. So let's start with this equation. And let's differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. The derivative of z squared is 2z times dz dt. And the derivative of x squared is going to be 2x dx dt. And for y squared, it's going to be 2y dy dt. Now let's divide everything by 2 so we can get rid of these. And then plug everything in and solve for dz dt. So z is the square root of 10, dz dt is what we're looking for, x in this problem is 1, dx dt is 4, y is 3, dy dt is 8. So 3 times 8 is 24, and 4 plus 24 is 28. So now we need to divide both sides by the square root of 10. So dz dt is equal to 28 divided by the square root of 10. 
Now let's go ahead and rationalize this problem. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 10. So this is going to be 28 square root 10 divided by 10. Now let's divide the top and the bottom by 2. Half of 28 is 14. Half of 10 is 5. So dzdt is 14 square root 10 over 5. And the unit will be the same as dx dt, which is uh, centimeters per second. So that's the rate at which the distance between the point and the origin is changing when x is equal to 1. Number 2. Two cars begin moving from the same starting point at noon. One travels east at 60 miles per hour, and the other travels north at 80 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the two cars changing at 3 o'clock? So let's draw a picture. So the first car, let's say this is the starting point, travels east. The second car travels north. And the distance between them at some time later is going to be represented by that mark or that line. So let's say x is the distance that the first car travels east, y is the distance that the second car travels north. And the distance between the two cars at 3 o'clock, let's call that z. Now we have the rate at which x is changing. The first car is traveling east at 60 miles per hour, so that's dx dt. Now the second car is traveling north at 80 miles per hour, so that's dy dt. We need to find out how fast z is changing, the distance between the two cars. So our goal is to calculate dz dt. Now what is x and what is y and z as well? Now the cars, they begin traveling at noon, that's at 12 o'clock, and the current time is 3 o'clock, so that means that 3 hours has passed. So if the first car is traveling at 60 miles per hour, how many miles did it travel in 3 hours? So every hour it's doing 60 miles, so in 3 hours it's going to do 60 times 3, or 180 miles. Now for the second car, it's going at 80 miles every hour. So in 3 hours, 80 times 3, it's going to do 240 miles in distance. Now that we have x and y, we can easily calculate z using the Pythagorean theorem. z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Now x is 180 and y is 240. So let's get a calculator for this. 180 squared, that's 32,400, and 240 squared is 57,600. So if we add those two numbers, this will give us 90,000, and that's equal to z squared. So what is the square root of 90,000? Can we do that without a calculator? 90,000 is basically 9 times 10,000. And the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 10,000 is 100. So z is going to be 300. So now that we have z, we can calculate dz dt. So it's going to be 2z. Well, first we need to differentiate both sides with respect to time. If we do so, we're going to get 2z dz dt, and that's equal to 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. So dividing everything by 2, we're going to have this equation left over. So z is 300. We need to calculate dz dt. x is 180 times dx dt, which is 60. y is 240 times dy dt, which is 80. So 180 times 60, that's 10,800. And then 240 times 80, that's 19,200. 
And once again, I am running out of space. So now we have 300 times dz dt. And if we add 19,200 plus 10,800, that's equal to 30,000. So now let's divide both sides by 300. So we could cancel two zeros, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we're going to have a 1 with two zeros left over. So dz dt is 100. And it has the same units as dx dt and dy dt, which is miles per hour. Now, it turns out that there's a simpler way in which you can get the same answer without drawing any pictures. And just as z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, for this particular type of problem, it turns out that dz over dt squared is equal to dx over dt squared plus dy over dt squared. So dx dt, that's 60, so we have 60 squared. dy dt is 80. And 60 squared, 60 times 60, that is 3,600. And 80 squared is 6,400. I put 64,000. 3,600 plus 6,400 is 10,000. So that's equal to dz dt squared, which means we need to take the square root of both sides. And we know the square root of 10,000 is 100. So that's another way, a much simpler way, in which you can get the same answer, dz dt. Number three. At 2 p.m., ship B is 160 kilometers east of ship A. So let's draw a picture. So these are the two ships, and B is east of A, so B is to the right of A. And the distance between these two points is 160 kilometers. So this is the situation at 2 p.m. Now, ship A is sailing south at 12 kilometers per hour. Ship B is sailing north at 18 kilometers per hour. How fast is the distance between the two ships changing at 6 p.m.? So that is four hours later. So what is the situation at four hours later or at 6 p.m.? So the horizontal distance will still be the same. Now B has moved 18 kilometers per hour times 4 because the difference between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. is 4 hours. So 18 times 4 is 72. So B has traveled 72 kilometers north. And A has traveled, let's see, 12 kilometers per hour. So for 4 hours, that's going to be 48 kilometers. And then if we add 72 and 48, that's 120. So we can redraw this picture like this. So the horizontal distance is still 160, but the vertical distance is now 120, and that is not drawn to scale. So this is x, and this is y. Now, z is the distance between ships a and b. So b is over here at this instant, and this is a. So our goal is to calculate dz dt. Now, what's dx dt and what is dy dt? Notice that x does not change. At 2 o'clock, x was 160. And at 6 o'clock, x is still 160. So therefore, dx dt is 0. The change in x with respect to time is 0. Now, what about dy dt? How can we determine dy dt? So this is the rate at which y is changing with respect to time. So notice that at 2 p.m., y is 0 because a and b, they were horizontally apart from each other. There was no vertical distance between a and b. They're at the same horizontal line, so y is 0. 
at 6 p.m., y is now 120. So the change in y is 120 minus 0, and that's kilometers. So y changed 120 kilometers in 4 hours. So if we divide 120 by 4, we can see that dy dt is 30 kilometers per hour. Another way in which you can determine that same answer is to add up 12 and 18. Because both of these values, they act in such a way to increase the y value. So 12 plus 18 will give you 30. Now let's organize the data. So we have a right triangle. This is x, y, and z. And then here is ship A, and this is ship B. So we said that x is 160 kilometers. y is 120 kilometers. And we don't currently have the value for z. Now, dx dt, since x doesn't change, dx dt is 0. dy dt is 12 plus 18, so it's 30 kilometers per hour. And the goal in this problem is to calculate dz dt. So let's begin. So first, we know that z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. X is 160, and Y is 120. 160 squared, that's 25,600. And 120 squared is 14,400. So adding up these two numbers, this is equal to 40,000. So that's z squared. The square root of 40,000 is 200. So now we have z. So at this point, what we can do is differentiate both sides with respect to time. So the derivative of z squared is 2z times dz dt. The derivative of x squared is 0 because x is a constant. And for y squared, it's going to be 2y dy dt. Dividing both sides by 2, we have z dz dt is equal to y dy dt. So z is 200, and y is 120, dy dt is 30. So let's divide both sides by 200. So dz dt is going to be 120 times 30 divided by 200, which is 18. So the ZDT is 18 kilometers per hour. That's how fast it's changing.